Hi and welcome back. Now, if you aren't following me already, I carry out polls on my community page on Twitter and recently I asked what type of base you would like to see. Overwhelmingly won by 51% was a stupidly strong starter base. Now, everyone knows the 2x2, two two. it's quite easy to work out where the loot is. So I want to try to do something that separates the loot but also stops people who just raid through the doors. Now, by separating the loot into the two squares, yes, it's only one wall for each. However, this is a starter base. If you don't know what a starter base is, it's a base that you're going to use for a couple of hours, maybe the night, just to try and get you established on a server. It's by no way means something that you're going to keep throughout the entire wipe, so don't think that it's something that's going to be there forever. Now, the costs are on the screen now. This costs roughly about a K more than a 2x2, two two, depending on how you build it. Now, the way I've done it is so no one can chuck any bean cans or anything down there. I'll show you how to do this. Shotgun trap, so if someone is standing at the door just trying to be a little git, then you can take them out the shotgun trap. It is drainable. You can put half walls here as well if you think that the little gaps are an issue. I'll show you how to do them as well. You can't put them on when the roof piece is there, but you can put them in place. Now, as I said, I wanted to be stupidly strong and stop people from just raiding through the doors. And by putting the roof piece in place, that does it. Now, as you can see, because of the triangle, no one can fire down or do anything. Take this out, the twig, and you can get in and out quite easily. Now, yes, you can get door camped, but hopefully your shotgun trap will help you. And you've got shotgun trap down below as well, straight ahead, which will take them out if they drop down and try and go deep. Bear in mind, if you are starting a new server, this could be a decent thing to use. If you're on a server that hasn't wiped BPs in a long time, um, people are quite easily going to get things like rockets. This ain't going to last very long for you. So you have to take that into consideration when you're building this base. Now, the main thing for this, as I said, was to stop people just raiding through doors. You can metal this all up if you wish. You can build off of it, extend it, put honeycomb on it. Completely up to you. Um, if you do, please let me know in the comments below. Also, what type of base do you want to see next from me? Let me know in the comments. You can see that it's very easy to put this back together. You don't have to mess around. You have to excuse the recording. Rust has been extremely poor at the minute and completely freezes and kicks me out of the game. So the footage may be a bit stuttery. Apologies if that is an issue for you. Now, very easy to do. I'll show you how to build this now. Now, to do this, you can have a starter for a starter, really. You just have one square and your triangle away. Very, very simple to do. Now, some people may want to start small and build out because you may want to keep this for maybe the first day and just keep running off it just to see what the server's like. We know pop on servers does die quite quick. So this might be ideal for you just to establish whether you're going to actually continue on that server. I know that a lot of servers that I join tend to die within maybe two days unless I'm playing on officials or one of the high pop that you have to pay VIP to actually get in. Now to get the section for your roof you have to raise one of your foundations. You have to do it. Now the sections I've done in metal are for the reason of if someone takes that out they're going to get in straight away. Now seal it all up is very very simple. It's not hard in the slightest to do. Don't panic. You can slowly get through this. It's not one of those ones where you have to do it in sections. As a starter base, I've made sure that it is very quick and easy to do by having the different sections that you can actually place stuff in. Now, as I said, you can put the small walls in place. This will stop any sort of gap if you are a bit cautious about that being a thing. I can assure you, it's nothing to worry about. As I said, you're going to want to metal up these sections because... This will make them spend more. The, the whole thing for this is to make whoever's trying to raid you spend more to actually get into the base. You're going to want some sort of stairs. I'm using B grade. Use twig because if you are going to expand this base, do not put the little small walls and stone stairs because you're going to probably want to build out from that. Make sure you metal it all in here as well. Again, if they get in, they get in. They're going to have to then go through doors to, as well. Make them spend as much as possible. That is the key to this. Now, as you can see, that little half piece isn't there at the moment. I'll put that in a second. When you're inside, I am not the best at planning where to put things. So, 
use this as a template. If you can, try and do take away this and use double doors where possible. It just gives you more space to move around the base. I don't like personally having a base where I'm restricted in movement, so I try to have it as open as possible. If you have garage doors, by all means use them. If you're going to have a bigger base, then you're going to have to make sure it's done. Now, put your furnaces in place. That will be twig. It will not be stone. It's just because I'm using B-grade. That will always be twig. You have to bear that in mind as well. Place your roof in place. You can see now that has locked your base down. Then from there, you're going to put a triangle piece in. That will stop anyone from throwing bean cans down. Because the way this is done, you can get a bean can down here to blow the twig. Unlike the last base, because I've not got enough space. They can roll towards it. It took about six or seven bean cans for me to actually get it when I tested without the triangle. So I recommend you use the triangle. Keep leave it in stone. You don't have to do it metal. It's just there as a deterrent more than anything. Now, as you can see, put that back in place, drop it down, and it completely seals it up. Now, from that side with those small walls, you can see it completely seals it there as well. No one can fire down with fire arrows or the bean cans. It's completely sealed from that section. Now, I'll put shelves in, show you where to put things. Again, this bit is up to you. Now, you have to bear in mind as well, we're separating the loot. If people do go through roof tiles for the starter base, a repeat starter base, they're going to have to go through two sections. So it's a 50-50 chance that they're actually going to get to your TC and your loot. So... You have to always bear that in mind. With these separate loot bases, they are good, but there is a chance that you could actually hit the mother load if you're keeping everything in the same section. I know a lot of people say in the comments, yeah, it's one wall, you've got all the loot. When separating loot, you have to make sure you equally separate everything out. It can be a pain, but before you go offline, if someone doesn't have enough to continue the raid, they're stopped in the tracks. It could be the difference of you saving... 5k gunpowder by just separating it into two and a half k's on each side chances are they're probably enough and thought i am not going for any more of that because they'll think they've actually got all the gunpowder or sulfur but you've actually separated it now i am not a big one in bunkers some people say this is a bunker because the roof piece is there it's not uh, i can through this quite a few times a bunker is a base which is below a base hidden within the floors this is just a stability access. It's an old, old trick that we used to use for traps a while ago. These aren't bunkers. Bunkers are completely sunk into the base itself. Don't confuse the two. That's why I always put not a bunker base, because it's not. I'll show you a trick with the doors in a second as well. You can see as you go through. Just place them through. It gives you full movement throughout the base. I've put a door around the wrong way here. I'll have to flip it around in a second, because you can use it as a trick as well. Now, you've seen a second when I lift this door from above. You can actually use the doors to aid you. If someone is getting through, if you're online and you haven't got your roof piece in place, they take the first door out. If you lift this door, run it round so both of them open in towards you as you stand now, it can actually work as blocking them from getting in any further, meaning they have to take both doors out so it stops them. Yes, they can get you, but if your shotgun trap is in place, on the other side it will take them out so guys that is my strong starter base let me know what you think as i said leave in the comments what you want to see next and i'll catch you in the next one